restaurant with my husband, Ben. I take you on a journey of Oriental cookery, Nancy style. Nancy special. Get a boogie, yeah. <laughs> to cook my food, you use normal kitchen equipment, but try and have a few special equipment. Steamer. You don't need to have a large steamer. A small steamer like that is beautiful. And it's not very pricey. Chopsticks. It's a very, very special stick. And it's stylish to eat Chinese food with chopsticks. Wok and my special ladle. This very simple ladle, just a special for wok. Yes, this is very, very special. Deep fry any vegetables, meat or anything. This is just nice. And this is my favourite. Because I love soup, so this big ladle is just nice for my soup. Look at that. And all this special equipment can be hanged in front of the kitchen, at the back of your kitchen. Please yourself. Today, I'm going to make you papaya salad. Green papaya, lime, coriander, fresh red chilies, fresh garlic, and dry prawns. You can get your ingredients in the ordinary supermarket. The difficult things that you can't get, you can get it in the oriental supermarket. Please try make this lovely salad. It's so delicious. These dry prawns has been soaked for 15 minutes with hot water. And now I'm going to cut the skin off and take the pit off the papaya. And you can see all these are not wanted for this salad. that papaya can use it freely in this country now because it's the import is so massive of, of ways to get papaya. I cut some of them into strips. Prawns. Prawn. Dry prawns. I'm going to use my mortar to pound my ingredients. These prawns are soft, but it's still very tough. This is one ounce of dry prawns. You realize that the sunshine is drying all these prawns up. This prawn is sprinkled with salt and been on the sun for hours and hours. We are so lucky we get it. You can use fresh prawns too. In it. That's it. Two cloves of garlic. And you know that garlic was grown even before Christ was born. You realize that? And you can see garlic is good for health. One nice fresh chilies. You break it and then you grind it or motor it or pound it. If you don't have this old thing like mine, you can use a liquidizer. 
or a grinder but do not make it too fine you like a little bit of the texture of the dry prawns you just wonder why is this mortar so worn out this has been the hand of my grandmother my mother and now to me it's over 100 years old and it's still working and now I'm going to put some coriander stock in and coriander leaves in that's it now I'm going to get rid of whatever and I'm keeping the ingredient in the mortar and I'm going to show you how to mix the salad and serve it and get the kick off yourself look at this beautiful ingredient this lime to squeeze and put it in two lime because you like it sourish sweet and salty okay my last thing i'm going to put in here two tablespoons of fish sauce that's all you need that's it and i'm going to not mess this papaya salad round too much or it get mashy and i'm going to serve this here then please get ready with my coriander when you eat your piece of food in your mouth you just say eh, nah, delicious or oh, yummy just a little bit of coriander it looks nice a bit of flair lovely and my last bit what shall i always like ben sesame oil sesame oil one two drop that's it my most beautiful papaya salad i'm just trying to hear what you're talking about what religious in that what's that he's no no, it smells very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was nice. Try and tell me. Go on. I didn't give you serving spoon because I like you to be friendly. You like it? It's delicious. It's really nice. You tell me. No peanuts. Coriander. No. More chili. Yes. Yes. It's hot. Find my chance! I got to be hot, it's exotic! <laughs> For the main course, I'm going to cook you Nancy special chicken. Not hot, but spicy. you can see it's a fresh chicken I want to cut it into four cut it on the joint that's it one get rid of the fat as you cut you get rid of the fat straight away don't wait till you wait till tomorrow do you know why I call this chicken Nancy special chicken because it's such a delicious chicken lick your finger it's so special yet you have to have my name on it in english it's called a casserole in our language we call it curry or we call it cooking a lemak lemak is you know spicy and rich when i cook in a party everybody asks me do you use a lot of fat in your in your cooking no I don't use a lot of fat in my cooking because meat have its own fat and why should we add more fat on it? See, I, I'm a very fussy woman. That's what I was brought up to be fussy. This is my beautiful fresh ingredients for Nancy special chicken.
All my ingredients I have chopped and pounded, starting with my candle nuts. It's so useful to make the sauce rich. You can get candle nuts in the Oriental supermarket. If you can't get candle nuts, you can use almond nuts. The first two inches of two lemongrass stock. Lemongrass is grown in the east where there's lots of sunshine. But you can get this in every large supermarket. They do provide lemongrass now. These are fresh gingers. Look. Paradise. And you know, I love red onions. You know how delicious this chicken is? And all my guests is waiting. When you put your ingredient in, put the fire low. You can see I have put two tablespoons of oil inside. And that's enough. And you fry it slowly. As you know, it burns very fast. So you've got to take your time and keep stirring and stirring. Okay, give me coriander powder quickly with a teaspoon. Oh, okay, then one tablespoon then. That's fine. One tablespoon of coriander powder. One and a half teaspoon of salt. Remember to put the cumin three quarter of a teaspoon. You put two teaspoon of garlic powder on this dish. Half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Thank you. That's it. Ben, hurry up now. Get my chicken all ready. Yes. That's it. You lay the chicken in slowly. As you can see, I already washed the chicken. Keep frying till the chicken is cooked with all the ground ingredients and the spices. I've been cooking 13 years professionally. My grandmother has brought me up to cook since I was eight years old. I want to start business. I want to be a cook and I've left nursing to be a cook. And I'm still entertaining customer and guests in my life, like looking after patients in the hospital. They love me. Sometimes I get a bit stupid, but who cares? This is lovely now. I'm going to add some chicken stock and let it cook. My little then, stop dreaming. Where is it? <laughs> I told you, I told you, he's dreaming. I told you, look at this chicken stock. Beautiful it is. All I need is one cup of stock. Oops, there that. One cup of stock. That's plenty. If you don't have stock, just use water. And we cook it slowly for another half an hour. Look at that. Look at that. This is my husband. We've been married so many years. We've been enjoying our love. And so, that's it. We put half a tin of coconut milk. Not more than that, or else it's too rich. Turn the heat high and let it boil. Make sure your heat is very, very high. Okay, and can you see these two pieces of bone that I put in there? That is to make the stock. So, literally, we don't need to use any modium sodium glutinate, do we? We need natural cooking. Lots of people are allergy with it. That's why I refuse to use it. Look at that. Isn't this wonderful? Oh, thank you, Ben. You want me to decorate this chicken? I will. All right, then. What shall I do here? Here. Wonderful. Look. 
the marriage forever food. That is Nancy special chicken, not hot but spicy. Today, Pad Thai noodle come in a dry form. You have to soak it for two hours. I have these thick ones, and you can see how long this is. They come from Thailand, and you can get it from a nice Oriental supermarket. With my Pad Thai noodles, I have to use this piece of chicken. This chicken is cut thinly because the thinner you cut the chicken, the faster it cooks. Look at that. Lovely. With my noodles, I need some lemongrass, an inch of lemongrass. And I'm going to cut it very, very finely. Slip it in the middle. of strength to cut your lemongrass. When the fresher the lemongrass is, the harder it is. Lovely lemongrass. Even cutting it, the aroma of the lemongrass is so fresh. Also with my noodles, I need spring onions. Top and till it and just slice it across the grain. And you can see I slice it slight way. So the, because the noodle is long, so you slice it slight way. I use one spring onion. If you like more spring onion, put two. That's it. Also with my noodles, I put chilies. You realize that chili is hot. And the smaller the chili is, the hotter it is. So I'm going to cut the chilli finely and please wash your hand after you cut the chilies. Some people, they cut the chilies, they've forgotten to wash their hands and they rub their eyes with it. They say, oh, it's burned my lips, what am I going to do with it? My goodness, please don't ring me and tell me that chilli is hot, you didn't tell me. I'm telling you now, lovely. Let's cook. This is my Pad Thai noodle. I'm going to start now. Ben, I want this quick and fast because my guest is waiting. All right? Yes. And don't panic. Hurry up. Yes. Oil, please. Quickly. Yes. Two tablespoons of oil. Garlic. In. Lemongrass. In. Chili in ho 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 Chicken quickly is burning Chicken yes chicken I use four ounces of chicken My wok got to be really hot because I'm cooking fresh meat chicken and four ounces of prawns peel the prawns you devein the prawns and you wait for it to be cooked Open your window wide when you walk along with your dinner. Like Ben, slowly, creeping slowly, you never cook anything. Okay, let's put an egg in it, Ben, quickly. Uh, one, egg, yeah. one egg, yes, one egg. One egg, yes. You've got to scramble your egg first, because or else when your noodle put in, the noodle gets soggy straight away. Yes, look, my noodle is going in now. Now I'm going to use my chopstick to stir it. My two tablespoons of fish sauce. 
If you like it saltier, you put three tablespoons of fish sauce. Fish sauce I get from a large supermarket or any oriental supermarket, you're sure to get it. This dish is sweet and sour, so you need two teaspoons of sugar. Now, I'm going to put my tamarind juice. Yes. These are tamarind pulp, okay? You can get it from any supermarket. It comes in a solid block. These are fruit from the tree, and it's very, very sour. So you put in your tamarind juice in, that is mixed with water. I put one big piece of tamarind, it's about one tablespoon of tamarind. You can see the, the, the seed have come out of the tamarind. I'll soak it for literally not even one minute. Yes, that's it. Wonderful. I'm going to serve my noodle now. Isn't that lovely? Bean sprout in. This is one ounce of roasted peanuts and two ounces of bean sprouts. It's such a little amount of peanuts. All you got to do is to buy a packet of peanuts, pound it into fine, and then sprinkle it on. And then you sprinkle your spring onion to make it a lovely garnish. Look at that noodles. You think you'll try this recipe? Well, try our cooking and enjoy it! The noodles and the rice. They go well together, actually. The chicken was just amazing. Um, not too hot, wonderfully spicy, and uh, a refreshing experience. Damn good job, I was hungry. I think Nancy should ask for her money back in the Swiss finishing school. <laughs> well, Nancy, she's just a one-up. I don't know how to explain her. I'm sorry, Mum. I think Nancy makes me quite nervous about the meat. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you like Nancy's special. Try it, cook it yourself. Say goodbye, Ben. Tai Chen. In Mandarin.